What's up, guys? Jose here at ShreddedDad.com, and I'm going to give you an updated tour of my garage gym because I've updated it. I've added new equipment to it, and I hope this inspires you to create your own garage gym. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a detailed uh, view of each piece of equipment that I have here. And if, if something that you see is something that grabs your attention, then I'll leave a link right below this video where you can take a look at where I got these from. And, and that link is going to be ShreddedDad.com slash tools. So we'll go to the beginning here, right? As soon as I open the garage door, what I see is this right here. So I'm taking over the sidewall and also half of the wall right in front of me right there. So starting over here on the right side, we have a pair of speed ropes. And I also have some straps that belong to a sled that I'm going to show you in a minute. So that's the first thing I have there over here right next to that. Then I have a dip bar that attaches to my 3 by 3 rack. There's the dip bar there, and the dip bar has been held up by these pegs here. These pegs are, they stick out about seven inches off the wall, and they can hold about 120 pounds each, so they support a lot of weight. And right on the pegs, I have these rotating handles, which are used for pull-ups. I have shoulder issues, so I have the rotating pull-ups I've noticed help me with the shoulders to keep them healthier, or at least less painful. So right next to that, I have the sled, the, the sled I used right in the front yard, and it's a foldable sled, which means I can fold it up and put it up against the wall, as you can see right there. Right on top of that, very important, when it gets hot, I need that fan right there blowing because it helps to cool this place down a little bit. It still just blows hot air, but at the same time, it helps me to cool off a little bit. So right next to that, we have another peg here holding up a 35-pound plate. And right in front of that, right in front of this, I have some wrist straps. Right below that, I have a 45 pound plate and some boxing gloves. Right next to that, I have the wall mounted folding squat rack with a pull up bar and kipping bar right on the top. And in the middle of that, we have the foldable bench right there. So, as you can see, if I come from the side here, this takes very little space so I can still park my car there. And right here, these are another set of handles, which you can you can attach to a lot of different pieces of equipment. Again, they're rotating handles. And I have another set, the other pair right there. Right next to the rack, again, I have a 35-pound plate with a strap right behind it. Over here, another set of boxing gloves and a 45-pound plate. Now, right next to that, I have a barbell that's sitting on the floor. And over here, it's being held up by this heavy-duty hook. Okay, this hook can hold up to 40 pounds, so I use it a lot. And as you can see, I have some right here as well holding up my weight bench. Now, right on the barbell, I have a landmine attachment, which I use for different exercises, such as shoulder exercises, uh, some abdominal exercises. And then right next to that, I have a pair of parallettes. And the floor, by the way, these are, these are, these are four by six stall mats. Okay, and as I said, everything that I'm showing you here, I'm going to have a link right below this video in the description so you can check them out. The link is shredded.com slash tools. Over here, I have a sledgehammer out in the backyard. I have a big tractor tire that I use with the sledgehammer. Okay, coming over this way, we have another set of, uh, of pegs holding up a pair of 25s. Right above that, I have a 10-pound plate. And right here in this section is where I keep all my bands, resistance bands, resistance tubes, and I have a dip bar, a dip belt there as well. Over here on the side, again, another pair of 25s, a 10. And up on the top here, I have the entertainment center. This is where I have my speaker. That's my speaker right there. On top, I have the uh, rotating push-up handles. This over here is more for rehab. This is a TENS unit for pain relief. Up there, I have a foam roller, again, for pain relief. And over here on this one, I have a percussion massager, okay, percussion massager for recovery. Now, right below the entertainment center, I have a pair of power block adjustable dumbbells. Power block adjustable dumbbells, and then I have the power block stand. And right below that, we see a pair of spotter arms, okay? And, and the, what I like about this stand also is that I can put more weights down here at the bottom. Most stands don't have that. They just have a place to place the weights. Okay, over here next to that, I have another dip bar. I have my rower standing up. 
and I have a battle rope here. This is a one and a half inch battle rope. And right on top of this right here, I have a an adjustable, a DIY kettlebell for swinging, kettlebell, for kettlebell swings. So that's a DIY version. Right next to that, I have some attachments that go on the sled for pushing or pulling. Next to this, I have a sleeve or, or a battle rope with a sleeve that helps to prevent fraying. And this is a two inch battle rope, which is, which is a lot heavier than the other one. And to finish it off over here, I have my punching bag with some uh, shin guards right there. And then if we go to the ceiling here, I have a climbing rope and then a set of rings right on the rings hanger right there. So that's pretty much it. That is my garage gym. It's got everything I need on it now. I don't think I need anything else. And it's it's my favorite place in the house. I can't tell you how much joy I get from coming in here, working out, getting it done, knocking it out, and just having the convenience of just coming in here, just opening a door and being right there where I need to be. So I hope you like the information in this video, guys. As I said, if you're interested in any of the equipment that I have here, just click on the link below this video. That link is shredaddad.com slash tools. Thanks again, and I hope this inspires you to create your own garage gym.